Process serving, or the legal service of process, SOP as it is often referred to, is a legal procedure by which a party to a lawsuit gives an appropriate notice of legal action or requirements to another party, the defendant or the respondent, about court or other legal proceedings to enable that person to respond to the upcoming proceeding. In layman's terms, it is simply delivering legal papers, often summonses and subpoenas, to a party to a case. For me, I got into the process serve business kind of by accident because I couldn't find a reliable process server in my area. Now, to be sure, there were and there are plenty of process serve companies around here. But with my serves, I needed somebody who could first communicate effectively with me, get the serves done in a timely manner, and then get me an affidavit of service in a timely manner after they complete the job. After creating my process serve company, my regular clients, especially my attorneys, they loved it. They now had a go-to guy for investigations as well as serves. The premise of my process serve business is very much like my PI business. It's very simple. Provide a premium service at a competitive price. I don't try to be the cheapest guy around and I don't try to do all of that bulk work that's out there. Now there's no problem if a standalone process server goes out and they get all that bulk work. In fact, because there are so many of those types of process servers out there, it opened up the niche market for me to offer premium service at a competitive price. So what is the difference you ask between my services and my competitors services? This video is sponsored by OREP Insurance and Working PI Magazine. OREP is a leading provider of private investigator liability insurance. Visit OREP.org for a quote today. Most process serve companies have clients such as large law firms and attorneys and collection companies. They give them bulk work at a set price. For instance, many of these companies will pay $35 to $45 a paper regardless of the amount of temps, miles traveled, and things like that. Now, if you get 20 papers a week, let's say 40 bucks a paper from just one client, that's not too bad. That's 800 bucks a week, right? Now, if it takes you an average between emails, printing, setting up your routes, tracking your serve activity, creating affidavits, getting them notarized, say let's that's an average of one hour for each paper. That's 20 hours a week. From my experience, most business owners are then going to put in about 20 hours a week doing other tasks such as marketing, answering emails, answering phone calls, accounting, taking care of other businesses. Now, if you take normal business assumptions into account, 30 to 50% of the average PI or processor business revenues will go directly to pay expenses. What looked like a potential $40,000 annual income from one client really equals about $26,000. And if you assume just 10 hours a week for other office duties and the 20 hours to handle those 20 serves, your hourly pay is really more like 16 or 17 bucks an hour. So that process server needs more than that. He goes out and he gets a couple more clients. He increases his revenues. Now it's taking him 60 to 80 hours a week, seven days a week, while he's still averaging 16 to 17 bucks an hour and he can barely keep up. Now with a workload like that, folks, something must give. This leaves a huge gap in service, folks, for the folks who just need to hire a process server for a one-time gig, as well for out-of-town attorneys and other process serve companies that need to hire somebody. I'm talking serves for small claims cases, divorce cases, adoption cases, evictions, civil lawsuits, and other court proceedings like that. That, folks, is the first premium service that you must offer. Simply answer your phone when it rings. I know. It doesn't sound like a premium service, but in reality, it really is because most process servers just let it go to voicemail. Next is knowledgeable advice for the job. You must know or have access to the laws and the rules of your state's requirements. If someone has a summons for small claims and the case is in six days, but your state requires 14 days notice, you can save your client a ton of headaches and recommend for them to get a new court date before you serve those papers. The third premium service is ease of getting the documents to you. In a few states, you must serve the original documents, but in most states these days, the courts allow for copies to be served. I always let the client know 
that they can simply email us the documents to get the ball rolling right away. This leads us to the payment for the service. We have flat rates for service, which we will cover in a little bit too, and we always get payment up front. Communication with the client as the serve progresses is the fourth premium service that we offer. To ensure that we communicate timely, we use Serve Manager, which is an online software product built just for process serve companies. A key to process serving being a successful site business for a professional private investigator, which can earn you up to an additional $20,000 a year or more, is your pricing. You have to keep in mind, folks, you're offering a premium service at a competitive price. Please don't fall into the trap of trying to undercut or compete with all of those process servers out there in town who are doing all of that bulk work. I charge $85 for routine service in my primary areas of service and prices go up from there. If it's a rural town, there's a higher fee. If it's a rural address, there's a higher fee. If it's a rush, there's a higher fee. You see, folks, I'm the highest priced guy in town, and I know that. But I offer a premium service at a competitive price, and I know how to close the sale on the phone, and I will share my closing technique with you. Folks, if you don't close that sale, you will never get the serve. That is the bottom line to success for a process server. Here is the simple math. If you charge $75 a serve and got five serves a week, that equals to over $20,000 a year for a side gig. And if you use good resources and tools, you will have less than an hour into every serve on average. Now the close. Here you go. Mr. Client, all you need to do is scan and email us the documents. After we receive the documents, we will enter it into our automated system. After that, you will receive an email with a link for your invoice, which you can pay online. After we receive the documents and the payment, we will schedule the work and our system will keep you notified. After we complete the serve, we will email you a notarized affidavit of service, which you can present to the court. Here is the email address that you can send the documents to. Once they grab paper and pen and they jot down your email address, you have closed the sale. They have now taken action and most people will follow through with that action. If they can't write it down because they're driving or for whatever reason, offer to text your email address to them. This will usually solidify the sale as well. 